first of all, it looks like I put the Forester away a little bit early. Holy shit, we got dumped with snow last night. I don't even know if the Evo can make it through this. It's super wet, super soggy snow. Look at this thing. That would be a pretty cool Instagram photo. Let's see how she does though. Thankfully, she's got full coverage on her. So if I do wreck it, then I'll be covered. But unfortunately, my insurance does not cover aftermarket parts. So if I curb my wheels, that's on me. What is up YouTube? Welcome to the vlog. I am shooting this with my phone right now. I don't have my camera on me. I was not expecting to wake up to all the snow today. This is insane. So I'm probably gonna throw the Forester back on uh, my insurance and get that thing back out. There's probably a good eight inches of snow outside and I don't have snow tires for the Evo. I actually had a set and I sold them because I bought the Forester for the winter. So I'm kind of stuck driving the Forester now and they clearly didn't sell it yet. So today's video is just gonna be a short little snow drifting video in the Evo. It's not gonna be anything crazy. I don't have anyone with me as you can see to film. So I'm just gonna have to set my phone up, then on my camera either. I'm just gonna have to set my phone up on like a little pole or something somewhere. Go find an open parking lot and hopefully piss nobody off. Let's go find something to do though. This is gonna be fun. So as I was driving, my front lip kicked up. Oh my gosh, all this snow and my wipers would not work. They are stuck down. So I was stuck driving, sticking my head out the window. This is ridiculous, guys. If you're wondering why I don't drive the Evo in the winter, this is exactly why. Perfect example. I would have to take everything off this car to drive it, so what's the point? There we go. No plow here. As you guys can see, I'm now back in the Forester probably for a good week or so, unfortunately. But I showed you guys earlier that thing is a straight up snow plow, and I'm not gonna sit there and rip off all the parts on that car. So for those of you wondering why I drive the Forester instead of the Evo in the winter, yeah, it's all-wheel drive. Yeah, I can throw snow tires on it, but I'd have to pull off my side skirts, my front lip, uh, probably my coilovers. I'd have to do a lot of work on that thing to get it ready for the winters up here in the uh, Pacific Northwest. So in my opinion, it's easier just to buy a car 
that is good in the winter, like this Forster I have, and then when I'm done with it, I can sell it and make money on it. I mean, it's just it's a no-brainer to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and this little vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's quite a bit different. All filmed off of my iPhone. So I don't know how good the quality is gonna be. I've used it a few times before and it's not the best, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Fun little day drifting in the Evo. Catch you next time.